So what you guys are seeing on the screen here, numbers one through eight, we'll do breathing, stretches, posture, breath support, humming. We're going to work on our middle range, low and high range. And I will have a question of the week in there. You can see it after number five on the list. But first thing we're going to do is take your hands up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, hands above your head. Exhale, bring your arms down nice and slow. Once your arms are back down, roll your shoulders forward three times. And then once that's done, roll them backwards. Reminder to everybody here that as a singer, our instrument is very much our body, right? So we have to take care of our body. We stretch, we work on our breathing, our posture, because if we don't take care of ourselves, we can't just obviously go to the music store and buy a new voice or the body that holds it. So we'll put that into a little bit of everything we do here. Breath support. Nice deep breath in. Exhale out. This time we're going to do our breath support warm up. Hayden, I know you know this, so I'll have you lead it with me. We're going to take a nice low deep breath in for four counts. We're going to hold that breath for four counts and you're going to hear me hiss out. So for example, you'll hear me say, breathe in. Breathing in nice and deep, holding that breath for four counts. And then like your lungs are a balloon, you are letting that air out. So check your posture, singers. Take a nice, low, deep breath in.
hearts, we're gonna work on the middle range, middle meaning not super high, not super low, and then our lower range. Then we'll have our question of the week, and then our upper range. After that, you see number seven says full range. Full range meaning we'll do scales and exercises that work all three, low, middle, and high, because of several songs you guys may be singing either now or in the future as a performer might not have you sit in one register. It might start low and then the middle and then high all in one. So let's start us off on the nice round ooh vowel. When you sing that, I want, I want your lips to look like you're pulling a piece of spaghetti through your lips. Ooh. ooh. Spaghetti or stirring, whatever you think would work best to make that round ooh shape. We'll start this off nice and slow and we'll speed up as we go. jaw for a tall oh think like if a doctor says you know say ah we drop our jaw picture of myself being Mary Poppins, you're going to see a bunch of vowels. You'll see it says a, e, e, o, and u. I'm going to circle them here on our screen just in case, but they're all right here. We're going to put all these together in a warm-up. It's going to sound... singer and they're all in one warm up here. Let's take it up a little bit higher. We're going to do this exercise now in our middle range and then we get to number six in our high range. We'll do them up in our upper range. Middle range, they are not that difficult. The biggest challenge here is as we sing these, different vowels, not going flat. Flat is where you want to sing a note like this, for example, and here's a little bit under the pitch. So if I want to sing this, my piano, can you make it flat? You guys listen. A little bit under. We don't want that. We want, we want to stay on this note the whole time till we get to the end on the ooh. Let's give it a try here. Check your posture. 
major, absolutely, and when we get to our upper range. One, two, three, all together. singing in our classes, but we do sing in all three registers. So you're not going to hear us be like, all right, everyone, let's hear your opera voice. But we will hit that upper register. Let's go back to the low note, shall we? On the word V, the letter V-E-E, -E, we're going to sing a very short scale. V, 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 V. For anybody here who maybe knows music, or even if you don't, 10 seconds of music uh, education. Here we go. When your notes are disconnected and short like this, V, 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 like what we're going to do, that is called staccato. That means short and disconnected. The opposite of staccato is legato. These words are Italian, but staccato is really short and disconnected. Legato, think of it like a flowing river. V, 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 and staccato is very short. V, If you ever hear a musician or a conductor or somebody in your singing ever say to you, you know, Ayla or, yeah, Ayla or Hayden, we want to hear that staccato. That means, hey, they want to hear it short and disconnected. Or if they say legato, now you guys know. But we're going to start this staccato, short and disconnected. short and disconnected. Last in our low range, then we have our question of the week. Our question of the week is because, and it is this one because it's the first Monday of a new month. Our question of the week is what is one special thing you're doing this month? Let's do one more low range exercise. We like to ask questions each week just to get a little bit of community in our group. Drop, draw for an ah. Two, three,
question of the week. One special thing you're doing this month. I'll start us off, you guys. I'll let you guys know when it's your turn and what it is. You can go ahead and unmute and share with our class. It could be something you're doing individually, something you're doing with you and your family or friends. For me, where I live, we have an award ceremony for like theater in our local city. And I'll be going to that. My husband actually originated the lead character in a brand new musical. And so he is up for best actor in a musical and the show itself is up for best new musical. So we're getting ready to go to our award ceremony this month, which is very exciting. Hayden, I'm gonna have you go next. Go ahead and unmute, share with our group. What is one special thing you are doing this month? Ooh, is it, what's it about? Is it a fiction book, a nonfiction book? Ooh. Ooh. There's drama. I mean, as an old middle school teacher, I, I know some, uh, some stuff about drama, but that's great. Love people talking about new books. I'm glad. How do they have music in a book? Like, do you hear it? Did you play it? How did that happen? Okay, okay, now I get it. <laughs> I was like, wait, is it an audio book? How is she getting this? And Ayla, what about yourself? What is one special thing that you are doing this month? It could be anything, go ahead. You're trying out for what? What, are there auditions happening this month? Oh my gosh, what do you have to do for your audition? That's amazing. Do you do a lot of plays or theater? I, I love this. Now, just so you know, on your resume, after four weeks of this class, you can add on your resume that you have a voice teacher. I've got several learners and students, especially in the pandemic, that were looking for online ways to practice and have someone work with them. Just so you both know, Hayden, I think you know this, but Ayla, I want you to know as well. On our class page, everything we do is recorded. So Ayla, I know you don't need, um, I know you don't need singing for your audition, but if you ever needed to look back on like a recording or a class we had, they're all there. Did you know that? Yep. Yep. They're all there. And then I have, Hayden knows this, I have a YouTube channel that I try to make like practice tracks and things for learners. Some people write me and they say, Kristen, I need, you know, like sheet music for something. Can you help me find it for auditions? And then you guys can write me there as well, which is great. Perfect, you guys. Well, let's go ahead to our high range. Ayla, I want to know more how your audition is getting ready each week that we meet. Hayden, I believe, is in a show right now. Hayden, does your show open this month or next month? I don't remember. In May, okay. You still have so much time, great. Ooh, and everybody in here, we all know what that word means. Of course, off book always makes me nervous. I think, oh gosh, okay, great. All right. as we're building those high notes. So posture, breath support, super important. And as you are singing, try your best not to have any H's in your sound. We don't want to hear ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, constant vowels. One, two,
lower your jaw a little bit. So, oh, on that note. So, oh. to number seven, full range. Like I mentioned, a lot of songs will start you off in like lower notes. And then as the song goes on, it jumps to the middle range and then the high range. Hayden, if you were here when I was doing Cinderella last month, I think I played some of the parts that we had to sing. And they started us off in like the middle low range. Then we ended in our higher range. <laughs> note to be straight or do I want on the end of it a lot of pop singers think like Alicia Keys, Ariana Grande, Olivia Rodrigo they can all decide hey when I write these songs I want vibrato at the end or I want it to be straight tone and while we don't write songs in these classes we practice our scales I want you guys as trained singers to know hey if I want vibrato here great and if I don't here's what I do either a hum or a lip buzz we're going to sing and I'll do it on a lip buzz if you want to hear how it's going to go. We are cooling down just like athletes do we also cool down as well. One, two, one. 